Welcome to the channel and today we're going to discuss the Maddox rod test. I think it's a very important test for the intermediate module or the IMM exam in ophthalmology and here you can see what the Maddox rod actually is and this is uh, the reddish cylinders as you can see over here. These are placed uh, parallel to each other and the orientation will decide how this light looks through them. And what you need to do is have both eyes open and then ask the patient to look uh, through the right eye with a, with a Maddox rod in front of the eye and this is what you will see. You will see if you put the cylinders horizontally, you will see the line vertically. So the important thing to remember is if you want to see a horizontal deviation, put the lines horizontally and the but the light you see is going to be sort of split into a vertical line and that moves to the right or the left of the light depending on the type of uh, deviation you have. Let's see a video of how this is being performed and here you can see the patient is asked to look either at a distance or the near and then you bring the Maddox rod with the horizontal lines to check for a horizontal deviation and you would ask the patient to tell you where the light, where the line is and where the light is in relation to each other. Usually you can see this is the line, the vertical line which I was talking about. This is what the patient sees through this uh, Maddox rod. And uh, I'm just moving forward and backward just to show you that uh, how it moves. But let's see what this will cause when somebody has got an exotropia just remember by the word x x means there's a cross so that patient will have a cross diplopia so if you see that the patient is has one eye has deviated to the right in this patient that has caused the fovea to move to the opposite side that means that the fovea has turned to the nasal side so the corresponding point which you see on the retina over here moves temporarily as well over here. There you can see this is the light which is vertical seen and in these patients you will have the light which is going to be to the left side of that vertical line screen through that Maddox rod. Similarly let's go forward and look at a patient with an ESO deviation. Here you can see because of the ESO deviation the fovea moves temporally because it moves on the opposite side. If the cornea moves nasally, the fovea would move temporally and that would project that, that uh, the corresponding point from the retina is going to fall on the nasal side of the retina and that projects on the temporal as a false image. So similarly, if you go forward and look at this vertical line, you will see that the light which you see is going to be on the right side of the of the vertical line seen through that Maddox rod. So this is going to be an uncrossed diplopia which you see in these patients. So take home messages, keep both eyes open while doing the test. Keep the Maddox rod in front of the fixating eye or the right eye. Dim the rooms in the light so that the fixating light is the, is the major light which is available in the room and it can measure phorias and tropias at distance or near, while a Maddox rod measures most of the phorias at near. I hope you like the content. Thank you very much for watching. Please do hit the like button.